35 years. That was the time span between the birth of the B-2 Spirit Bomber and its successor, the B-21 Raider. For over three decades, America's skies were guarded by an aircraft that seemed almost mystical in its capabilities. Now comes a new bomber that truly eclipses the old one. The Raider combines extraordinary stealth and avionics in one platform, packing roughly triple the technological muscle at only one-third the cost per plane. For years, potential adversaries poured billions of dollars into advanced radars and missiles, hoping to detect bombers like the Spirit. The Raider, however, makes those defenses essentially useless. This new aircraft embodies the culmination of all that development, and it even hides a secret that we will reveal in a moment. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. Stealth is where the B-21 truly shines. The old Spirit was revolutionary because it could slip through defenses approaching head-on without being seen. But modern air defenses cover all directions. Radar networks now use satellites, aircraft, ships, and ground radars arranged in overlapping rings around targets. The Spirit's flying wing design minimized its front-facing return, yet an enemy radar from the side or rear could still pick it up. The Raider's shape, by contrast, is designed to be hidden no matter which way the enemy looks. Every angle is shaped to scatter or absorb radar waves. Experts describe the Raider's stealth as effectively 360 degrees. It offers almost no detectable signature from any direction. In fact, some analysts say its radar cross-section is comparable to that of a mosquito, meaning it returns as little signal as a tiny insect. To enemy radar operators, finding a raider on the screen would be like spotting a mosquito against the night sky. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel grow. Size also plays a role in stealth, and the raider takes advantage of that. The B-2 Spirit is enormous, with a wingspan of 172 feet. The new raider, by contrast, is noticeably smaller, about 132 feet across. You might think smaller means weaker, but in stealth aviation, smaller often means better. A larger aircraft presents more flat surfaces and edges for radar waves to bounce off. By trimming down its dimensions, the Raider cuts its radar signature dramatically. In fact, the smaller size also has operational benefits. The Raider can use shorter runways and more basic hangars than the Spirit, giving the Air Force more flexibility in where it can deploy. Engineers also found that with modern precise weapons, the Raider can carry as many effective weapons and fuel as it needs to reach any target. It weighs less and costs less to fly, making the smaller size a clear advantage. There was also a breakthrough in the design process itself. The Spirit was engineered with pencil and paper drawings, scale models, and the best computer simulations available in the 1980s. By contrast, the Raider was born in the era of supercomputers and artificial intelligence. Engineers ran millions of digital simulations of radar reflections, letting software refine the shape continuously. Every wing contour, panel gap, and even the outlines of rivets and fasteners were optimized by computer to minimize radar return. The development used cutting-edge computational electromagnetics, a first for any bomber. The results were astonishing. What once took decades of test flights and modifications was done in months on computers. The end result is a design that not only hides from radar, but also needs less fuel to fly the same distance. In fact, it was one of the first major aircraft to be designed primarily by artificial intelligence, slashing years of trial and error. This process even improved the aerodynamics, giving the Raider better range and efficiency than older designs could achieve. The materials in the B-21 represent decades of progress too. The Spirit was covered in special radar-absorbent paint and composite panels that were cutting edge in the 1980s. That dark matte coating had to be sprayed on in layers, and after each flight, technicians often spent hours repairing or reapplying it in climate-controlled hangars. The Raider, on the other hand, is built from new composite materials and metal alloys that are stealthy by their nature. Its outer skin is sturdier and requires far less maintenance. Instead of sticky black paint, the Raider's exterior often appears in shades of gray or tan because it relies on embedded stealth in the materials themselves. These advanced materials also help manage heat. The engines vent exhaust in special ducts that mix the hot jet plume with cooler air, shrinking its infrared signature. In short, the Raider's body doesn't just defeat radar, it helps hide the plane's heat as well. It is a clear example of how on the Raider not a single detail was an afterthought. The Raider's twin jet engines are stealthy by design. Instead of having big exposed intakes and exhausts, the B-21 buries its engines inside the wing's center section. The intakes use S-shaped ducts that prevent radar from seeing the engine compressor blades. Even the exhaust is mixed with cooler air to shrink its infrared glow. In short, every part of the engine system is built to hide. This level of integration, hiding the engines and baffling the exhaust, 
was not possible in the B-2 era. It shows that the propulsion system was rethought from the ground up for stealth. Even at high power, its heat signature remains small, and the newer engines give the Raider excellent fuel efficiency. All of these refinements make the power plant a key part of the stealth system. Cost and production have taken a big leap forward as well. The B-2 program became infamous for huge overruns and schedule slips. Originally, the Air Force planned to buy well over 100 B-2s, but that figure was cut to just 21. With all the development expenses spread out over so few aircraft, each Spirit ended up costing roughly $2.2 billion. To put that in perspective, imagine a single plane costing more than some entire countries spend on defense budgets. That was the price of one B-2. Because so few were built, each one was incredibly expensive to operate and upgrade. Any new capability had to be installed with complex modifications on each bomber. This was a lesson for the Raiders designers. They set up the new program to avoid that problem from day one. By emphasizing digital design and efficient manufacturing, they have managed to keep costs far lower. The Raider program was managed very differently. The predicted cost per aircraft is around $692 million in year 2022 dollars. That means each Raider costs less than one-third as much as a Spirit did. The Air Force plans to build at least 100 B-21s, spreading the development costs across many more planes. Modern manufacturing techniques were key. Factories used 3D printing, robotic assembly, and computerized quality checks. Northrop Grumman reports that thanks to these methods, the typical design to production changes were reduced to around 1%, a tiny fraction of the usual rate in older programs. As a result, the program has stayed much closer to its budget and schedule than past bomber projects. In terms of range and endurance, the Raider again sets a new standard. Fully loaded with weapons, the B-21 can fly about 2,500 miles without refueling. That means it could reach distant targets from bases in the continental United States or in friendly countries without stopping. For comparison, even a modern stealth fighter like the F-35 manages only about 930 miles on internal fuel. So the Raider has almost three times the unrefueled range of even the latest fighters. With aerial refueling, its potential reach becomes essentially global. It could fly anywhere on Earth and still have enough fuel to return. This extended range means the Raider can strike from safe standoff distances or use remote bases, minimizing exposure to enemy defenses. Another way the Raider changes the game is that it can act as a flying command center. Its powerful sensors and data links let it gather and share intelligence in real time. It can link up with satellites, ground units, and other aircraft to create a complete picture of the battle space. Perhaps most intriguingly, one B-21 could control a squadron of unmanned drones, often called loyal wingmen. The bomber could send these companion aircraft ahead on reconnaissance missions or electronic warfare runs, all while remaining hidden. It could even spot an enemy target hundreds of miles away and automatically cue friendly fighters or ships to engage, passing them targeting data without revealing itself. Essentially, the Raider can serve as an invisible AWACS or command node, coordinating an entire strike package while the adversary's defenses search the skies in vain. Perhaps the most astonishing feature of the Raider is that it is optionally manned. It can be flown with or without human pilots on board. Because the aircraft's navigation and targeting are handled by advanced computers and sensors, commanders could send a raider deep into hostile territory with no crew inside. An autonomous autopilot could fly the entire mission while pilots remain safe on the ground. By removing pilots from the cockpit, the USAF gains tremendous flexibility. Missions that were too risky for human crews can now be attempted. This is a true first for a stealth bomber. In other words, the secret we hinted at is out. The Raider can fly itself without a crew. For missions that do carry a crew, pilots can still fly the plane manually or oversee the mission, but they always have the option to step out of harm's way. Beyond stealth and connectivity, the Raider carries an impressive array of weapons. Its internal bomb bays and external pylons can host the most advanced munitions of today. For conventional strikes, it can carry Joint Direct Attack Munitions, JDEMs, GPS-guided bombs that hit targets with surgical accuracy. It can launch long-range cruise missiles like the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JASSM, which can strike from over 500 kilometers away. For the toughest targets, it can carry up to two massive ordnance penetrators, 30,000-pound bombs, to smash hardened underground bunkers. Because those weapons pack such a punch, the Raider can accomplish missions with far fewer bombs and sorties than earlier bombers needed. In modern conflicts, that means more targets can be hit with fewer missions. 
dramatically increasing efficiency. The Raider is also fully armed for nuclear missions. It will carry updated nuclear gravity bombs such as the B-61 and B-83, and it is designed to use America's newest long-range nuclear cruise missiles. This ensures that the B-21 will be a cornerstone of the nation's nuclear triad for decades to come. In practice, that means it can deliver a nuclear deterrent to any target on Earth while remaining nearly invisible to enemy sensors. Even the deepest command bunkers may not be safe from an unseen raider overhead. In effect, the bomber strengthens deterrence by making adversaries assume that any stealth bomber in range could be nuclear armed. For US planners, it means a far more credible deterrent. No enemy can be sure they have warning or protection. To them, the message is clear there is nowhere to hide. The first B-21 prototype rolled out of the factory in 2023, and its maiden flight took place on November 10th of that year from Palmdale to Edwards Air Force Base. That flight was a success, demonstrating that the shape and engines perform as intended. As of 2025, at least three test aircraft are flying missions to verify performance. Testers are flying the Raider through all kinds of trials, long missions, maneuvers, and system checks to see how it behaves. Early feedback is very positive. Pilots note that the Raider feels solid and responsive and that its stealth and avionics work as planned. These trials will continue until the aircraft has demonstrated reliability and stealth under every condition. The goal is complete confidence in the bomber before any combat deployment. The Air Force has already moved into low-rate initial production as of 2025, with Congress approving several billion dollars to accelerate the program. Plans call for the first operational Raider squadrons to stand up in the late 2020s or early 2030s. One advantage of the new design is that it does not require the very special infrastructure the old Spirit needed. Unlike the B-2, which needed climate-controlled secret hangars to maintain its stealth coating, the Raider can use any hardened bomber base. Bases in the United States and allied countries are being upgraded to host it. For example, Runways and maintenance facilities at Ellsworth AFB and Anderson AFB have been modified. This means America can deploy raiders more flexibly and keep them dispersed, enhancing their survivability and readiness. What this means on the global stage is profound. Potential adversaries have invested heavily in air defenses built for older planes. Take China as an example. The People's Liberation Army has constructed layers of radar satellites, over-the-horizon radars, and surface-to-air missile batteries along its coast. These systems assume any incoming bomber must be detected and engaged by conventional means. The Raider throws a wrench into those plans. Its stealth is so advanced that those sensors might never see it. In fact, a Raider flying from U.S. territory or nearby bases could reach Chinese targets with almost no warning. Even China's latest fighters or AWACS planes would have difficulty intercepting an aircraft they never detect. In other words, the billions spent on those defenses could be rendered ineffective overnight. Russia faces a similar predicament. Its newest missile and radar systems, the S-400 and S-500, are incredibly capable at tracking conventional targets, but they rely on getting a radar return from the aircraft. Against the Raider's cutting-edge stealth, those defenses simply can't lock on. In practice, a Russian radar crew could see a B-21 flying past without a blip on their screens. Even their fighter jets or AWACS would struggle to notice it until it was too late. For all the money and effort that Russia has put into air defense, the Raider would render it moot. Essentially, it means U.S. forces could enter any defended airspace with impunity. This situation creates what strategists call deterrence through invisibility. Just knowing that the U.S. has an air fleet that can strike any target at any time, without warning, makes potential adversaries think twice before acting. The Raider will also reshape how America projects power with its allies. It is designed to operate from a wider range of bases, and commanders are already planning overseas deployments. Allies like the United Kingdom, Australia, Japan, and others are preparing to host and support the new bombers. This means that America's stealth strike force will be truly global, able to reach any theater from multiple directions. By operating from friendly bases and working closely with partner air forces, the Raider can deliver its effect quickly and extend deterrence. This kind of flexibility is a force multiplier for Alliance defense. Looking to the future, the Raider also points toward what will come next in military aviation. Because it was built with open architecture and modular design, new technologies can be plugged in as they become available. For example, directed energy weapons such as laser cannons could eventually be fitted on board to shoot down incoming missiles. Quantum radar sensors might be added to detect and track other stealth aircraft. Its computing core can be upgraded with more powerful artificial intelligence over time. Many analysts already call the B-21 a sixth-generation platform. Its ability to network, 
learn and evolve means it can integrate with new drones, cyber tools, and other advances without a complete redesign. In a decade, it may look very different than the initial version, continuously updated by software and new gear. So why does the B-21 Raider dominate the B-2 Spirit? The answer is that across every metric, stealth, cost, technology, and flexibility, the Raider is far superior. Its stealth is truly 360 degrees instead of mostly front-facing. Its unit cost is so much lower that the Air Force can afford far more of them. Its avionics and weapons are modern and upgradable, whereas the Spirit remains largely fixed to its 1980s technology. It can carry out missions the B-2 never could, flying without a crew, commanding drones in flight, and operating from basic airfields that the B-2 could not. It was built for 21st century warfare from the ground up. In every measure of effectiveness and efficiency, the Raider is leagues ahead. In short, the Raider is the culmination of decades of stealth innovation. It carried the torch that the Spirit first lit, but it does so with methods and tools that could not have been imagined in the Cold War era. Potential adversaries may pour billions into old-school radars and missiles, but the Raider has already moved on to tomorrow's defenses. It is, by any measure, the most capable bomber ever built. With this aircraft, American air power is unmatched. Any enemy must assume there is nowhere to hide. For U.S. forces and allies, the B-21 means the strongest shield imaginable. The B-2 served with distinction for decades. Now the Raider ensures that legacy continues. In the end, the B-21 doesn't just dominate the skies, it guarantees they remain under American control and protection. In short, any adversary now knows there is nowhere to hide. For those who value freedom, the Raider is a promise kept. American skies have never been safer or more secure. The future of bomber warfare is here. The Raider guarantees American air dominance. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.